Welcome back to Stone and Watch Weekend Box Office. Let's just dive right into it. Now, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker comes in number one this week. They bring in $177.3 million for their weekend haul. That's their total message as of right now. The worldwide is sitting at $373.5 million dollars we're not coming to number two this week we got jumanji to the next level they bring in 26.5 million dollars for their weekend haul they're down a little over 55 percent from last week the total domestic as of right now is 102.3 million dollars it's worldwide is sitting at 311.9 million dollars and i come to number three this week we've got frozen two they bring in 12.9 million dollars for their weekend haul they're down almost 32 percent from last week the total domestic as of right now is 387.2 million dollars it's worldwide is sitting at 1.1 billion dollars that's with a b and coming at number four and debuting on the charts this week we've got cats they're bringing 6.6 million dollars for their weekend haul and their total domestic as of right now is 6.6 million dollars it's worldwide is sitting at 10.9 million dollars and rounding out our top five we've got nice out they bring in six million dollars for their weekend haul they're down 33 percent from last week their total domestic as of right now is 89.5 million dollars it's worldwide is sitting at 185.5 Coming to number six this week, we've got Bombshell. They're bringing $5 million for their weekend haul. Their total domestic as of right now is $5.4 million, and they don't have a worldwide box office as of this point. And coming at number seven, we've got Richard Jewell. Now they're bringing $2.5 million for their weekend haul. Their total domestic as of right now is $9.5 million, and they also don't have a worldwide box office at this point. And coming at number eight, we've got Queen and Slim. They bring in $1.847 million for their weekend haul. They're down 48.5% from last week. Their total domestic as of right now is 365 and they also don't have a worldwide box office as of this point. And coming at number eight, we've got 4V Ferrari. They bring in $1.846 million for their weekend haul. They're down almost 55% from last week. Their total domestic as of right now is $102 million dollars and it's worldwide is sitting at 182.9 million dollars and rounding out our top 10 we've got black christmas they bring in 1.838 million dollars for their weekend haul they're down almost 57 percent from last week your total domestic as of right now is 7.2 million dollars and it's worldwide is sitting at 13.3 million dollars wow that's something else now i did go see uh star wars the rise of skywalker over the weekend now i actually had to watch extra videos and what have you to kind of explain some of the storyline that they had going on in this movie because again I went as cold as I can and maybe that worked kind of against me so but I mean I did like it but I had a lot of questions after I got out of it and according to what I seen and heard online there's a lot I'm not alone so I don't know did you have a lot of questions after you watched The Rise of Skywalker let me know in the comments down below did you check any of these other movies on the top 10 let me know in the comments down below Welcome back to Stone Watch 15 or 2. All right, let's just dive right into it. Now, coming at number one this week for 15 or 2, we've got 1917. Now, they're calling it Drama War. Now, the description reads, two young British privates during the First World War are given an impossible mission. Deliver a message deep in enemy territory that will stop 1,600 men, one of them being the soldier's brother, from walking straight into a deadly trap. Now, it's being directed by Sam Mendez, starring Andrew Scott, Benedict Cumberbatch, Mark Strong, and Richard Madden, to name a few. Now, I just watched the trailer for this thing for the first time a few minutes ago, and it looks pretty damn good. Now, you know I'm going to say it when I see it. If I see it, I'm going to say I'm going to pay matinee at the most, and that's at the most. Not saying this movie looks bad. It looks pretty damn good, actually, but at the most I'm willing to pay for it is matinee. So, I don't know. Did you see the trailer for 1917? You know, check this movie out. Let me know in the comments down below. Second on the list, we've got Little Women. Now, they're calling it a drama romance. Now, the description reads, Four sisters come of age in America in the aftermath of the Civil War. Now, it's being directed by Greta Gerwig, starring Saoirse Ronan, uh, Emma Watson, Timothy Shelmet, and Florence Pugh, to name a few. Now, I just watched the trailer for this thing for the first time a few minutes ago, and it looks okay. So, when I see it, if I see it, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say matinee, that's at the most, because mainly because I'm cheap. But, I don't know, this kind of seems like a Hallmark movie made on the big screen, as far as I'm concerned. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it looks terrible or anything. It looks kind of good. It looks kind of a little slow and what have you. So, I don't know. I don't know. Did you see the trailer for Little Women? You going to check it out in the theater this weekend? Let me know in the comments down below. Coming in at number three this week, we've got Spies in Disguise. Now, they're calling it an animation, action, adventure, comedy, family, sci-fi. 
Now, the description reads, when the world's best spy is turned into a pigeon, he must rely on his nerdy tech officer to save the world. Now, this movie is being directed by Nick Bruno, Troy Queen, um, starring Karen Gillan, Rachel Boshahan, Tom Holland, and Will Smith, to name a few. Um, now, I just watched a trailer for this thing for the first time a few minutes ago, and it actually looks pretty damn funny. Now, when I see it, if I see it, you know I'm going to say I'm going to say matinee. I mean, it looks pretty damn funny and what have you. I'm not really familiar with the studio that's actually doing this movie and what have you, but it does look kind of funny, and it does seem like that Will Smith and Tom Holland have a pretty good um, chemistry going on there. So like that. So like I said, I don't think I'm going to rush out and go see this opening weekend, but it does look kind of funny. So I don't know, did you see the trailer? For Spies in the Skies, you can go check this movie out. Let me know in the comments down below. Fourth on the list this week, we've got Clemency. Now, they're calling it a drama. Now, the description reads, Years of carrying out death row executions have taken a toll on prison warden Bernadine Williams. As she prepares to execute another inmate, Bernadine must confront the psychological and emotional demons her job creates, ultimately connecting her to the man she's sanctioned to kill. Now, this movie is being directed by... Shinoya Chuku, starring Alfreya Woodard, Wendell Pierce, LaMonica Garrett, and Richard Schiff, to name a few. Now, I just watched the trailer th for this thing for the first time a few minutes ago, and it looks pretty damn good and pretty messed up, to say the least. Now, when I see it, if I see it, you know I'm going to say, I'm going to say matinee because I'm, I'm cheap and what have you, but it doesn't look all that bad and what have you, but I think I'm leaning more towards, like, Maybe the $2 Ranger at home. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it looks terrible, but it looks kind of interesting. So, I don't know. Did you see the trailer for Clemency? You can go check this thing out in the theater. Let me know in the comments down below. Fifth on the list, we've got Just Mercy. Now, they're calling it a drama. Now, the description reads, Just Mercy shadows the world-renowned civil rights defense attorney Brian Stevenson as he recounts his experiences and details the case of a condemned death row prisoner whom he fought to free. Now, this movie is being directed by Destin Daniel Cretenton, starring Brie Larson, Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx, and Tim Blake Nielsen, to name a few. Now, I just watched the trailer for this thing for the first time a few minutes ago, and it looks pretty damn messed up and pretty damn good. Now, when I see it, if I see it, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say matinee, mainly because I'm cheap, and there's no other reason other than that. But it looks pretty good. I'm leaning more towards, like, the matinee, maybe the $2 range and what have you, but it does look pretty damn good. Did you see the trailer for Undressed Mercy? You can go check it out in the movie theater this weekend. Let me know in the comments down below. Six on the list this week, we've got IP Man 4, the finale. Now, they're calling it an action biography drama history. Now, the description reads, The Kung Fu Master travels to the U.S. where his student has upset the local martial arts community by opening up a Wing Chun school. Now, this movie is being directed by Wilson Yip, starring Donnie Yen, Scott Atkins, Wook Khan Chan and Chris Collins. Now, I watched the trailer for the first time a few minutes ago, and it looks pretty messed up. Now, when I say it, if I say it, I'm going to say matinee at the most, and that is at the most. Now, I'll probably lean more towards, like, the maybe at home or what have you, because it's all subtitles and what have you, and I'm not really a big, huge fan of watching movies. i got to read subtitles through the whole damn movie. I just mainly wanted to bring it up because I think Donnie Yen's a pretty damn good actor and what have you, and he wasn't in Rogue One, so I figured I'd at least give it a shout-out. So I don't know. If you like watching kung fu movies, that, that seems to be what this movie's all about and what have you, this might be for you. So I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty good and what have you. I wish there was actually English dialogue and what have you and wouldn't have to read you know, subtitles and what have you, but it does look pretty damn good. So, I don't know, did you see the trailer for IP Man 4? You can go check this movie out. Let me know in the comments down below. And finally, this week, we've got The Song of Names. Now, they're calling it a drama. Now, the description reads, an emotional detective story spread over two continents and a half a century. Beneath the film's stunning and pulsing music revelations burn the horror of war and the lost souls of extinguished from history. Now, this movie's being directed by Francis Gerard, starring Clive Owen, Tim Roth, Jonah Hauser King, and Kathleen McCormick. Now, I just watched the trailer for the for this thing for the first time a few minutes ago, and it looks pretty damn good. Now, I'm not going to rush out and go see it opening weekend, what have you, but it does look pretty good. So, when I see it, if I see it, you know I'm going to see it. I'm going to see matinee, mainly because I'm cheap, but... It does look pretty damn good. I mean, I'm a musician myself, and no matter what anybody tells you, drummers are musicians. But anyway, I mean, it looks pretty damn good. I mean, 
I mean, like I said, I, I don't think I doubt I'll rush out and go see this opening weekend, what have you, but it does look pretty damn interesting to say the least. So I don't know. Did you see the trailer for the song of names? Are you going to go check this thing out in the theater? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know, man. It's been kind of crazy. So I don't know. I actually had to go do extra research. Like I was saying earlier in order to understand some of the storylines that they had going on in the rise of Skywalker, you know, and what have you. So I have to give a shout out to emergency awesome and whatever, because that was one of the videos that I did watch. And what happened, he did explain some stuff, but some of this stuff, it's like legends. It's not canon, so I don't understand unless they're trying to pull some of that stuff in. So I'm not really sure. So I'm going to go do a second viewing, and after that, I'm going to see like whether or not if like, this extra information that I have now actually makes the movie experience get any better. So I'll get back to you on that one, and after that, then I'll do a total spoiler review on the movie. Like I, I, I did like it, but again, I had a lot of questions after I walked out. So I don't know. Did you? If you're in the same boat as I am, just checking these movies in the top 10. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, 1917, that looks pretty good, but I think I might check that out at home. Uh, Little Women, I mean, that looks kind of good, but I don't know about checking that one out. Spies in Disguise, that looks pretty damn good. I mean, Tom Holland and Will Smith seem to be having a pretty good chemistry going on in that movie. I'm not really sure about the studio that's actually putting this one out, but it did look kind of funny, so I might check it out. Uh just Mercy and Clemency look kind of like something I'd much rather watch at home. Um, IP Man 4, I didn't know there was like a 1 through 3, right? But I only brought this movie up because there's a lot of subtitles in this one, and I'm not really one for watching subtitles, but Donnie Yen, who was in Rogue One, is in this movie, so I figure at least give him a shout out. And then we got the songs of the na- uh, the Song of Names. Now, this one actually looked pretty good and what have you, but this was definitely another one I might want to catch at home, so I don't know what you... Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I mean, they look pretty damn good. We'll have to wait and see how they how they play out. Now, The Rise of Skywalker is, like, at number one. Now, they brought 177, so we have to wait and see, like, in next week and how well they're going to do it because usually they drop down, like, 40%, 50% going into their second week, so we have to wait and see how that plays out and stuff like that. And then we've getting Chapter 8 for The Mandalorian coming down out this Friday. Now, Taika Waititi is coming in to direct this one. Now, this is his one and only time he's directing at least – for this season, what have you. Now, this is like the season finale, so I'm kind of hoping that this one is going to be a little over an hour, or at least close to an hour, because like every one of them has been like maybe 30, 40 minutes. So I'm kind of hoping this one's close to an hour. So I don't know, what do you think in the comments down below? Let me know. So I mean, like, I don't like that last one. It was pretty damn good, so I can't wait to see where they go with it, right? So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe and click on that bell so you can be notified anytime you drop another video. Have a good Christmas, people. Peace.